Good evening folks and welcome to Granny Pratt's Scotch Broth Challenge. Uh, I'll let you in a little secret, my granny uh, wasn't that great a cook. Uh, but the one thing that she made every Saturday without fail, for, for as long as I could remember certainly, uh, was a big pan of Scotch broth and it tasted fantastic. And <laughs> everything else that she made was a bit yeah, but the scotch broth absolutely brilliant loved it loved my granny's scotch broth she'd make a huge big pan of it uh, and uh, we, we used to joke in the family that the secret ingredient to granny's scotch broth might have been the fact that she was using the same pan to to like boil wash or, or support tights or something like that but I don't, I, don't think, I don't think that was actually true. Anyway we're gonna have a go at making scotch broth. Uh, unfortunately because of Covid we can't actually then uh, sort of circulate it round and see see who's uh, gonna make the best broth but we could maybe take this as a trial run and once we're out of lockdown we could have a big soup making competition uh, and take it down the bowling green or something and see who's got the best soup. Anyway, uh, you should have got a big bag, uh, something like that, full of uh, various vegetables and bits and pieces for making scotch broth. And at the heart of it is this, a uh, great scot scotch broth mix. Now, a uh, Today's, tonight's recipe or today's recipe is going to be a bit of a two-parter because actually before we can make scotch broth we need to prep the scotch broth mix and that's not that complicated you basically just need to get yourself a bowl a, just, just a plastic bowl a, put for a, for a decent sized pan of scotch broth so That's the pan I'm going to be using tomorrow. So for a decent sized pan of scotch broth like that, you need to put about half this packet in the bowl and fill it up with water. Uh, the amount of water isn't really that important, but cover, cover it well, give it a good... What you're basically going to do is leave this to soak overnight uh, and then in the morning or whenever you're ready to make your scotch broth, pour out the water, give this scotch broth mix a wee rinse out and that's it, ready to go. It's just that this stuff, the scotch broth mix, needs to be soaked uh, for about eight hours. So put, as I say, about half of it in a bowl, cover it with a, a generous amount of water. The, the scotch broth mix should be covered with, you know, at least a couple of centimetres of water up above it. It'll, it'll absorb the water overnight uh, and sort of swell up so when you come down in the morning or whenever it should have it should have got bigger uh, and a lot of the water should have disappeared out of it and the water will probably look a bit cloudy and that's okay so that's what we're going to do uh, for stage one of the broth making uh, and then tomorrow we'll get the recipe up of the actual getting stuff in the pan and getting cooking uh, so let's go let's get to it 